the Blue 82B slash C-130 weapon system, known under program Commando Vault and nicknamed Daisy Cutter in Vietnam for its ability to flatten a section of forest into a helicopter landing zone, is an American 15,000 pound, 6,800 kilograms, conventional bomb, delivered from either a C-130 or an MC-130 transport aircraft. 225 were constructed. It was used successfully during military operations in Vietnam, the Gulf War and Afghanistan. The Blue 82 was retired in 2008 and replaced with the more powerful Moab. Overview The designation Blue stands for Bomb Live Unit, as opposed to BDU, Bomb Dummy Units, used for practice. Originally designed to create an instant clearing in the jungles of Vietnam, the Blue 82B C 130 was test dropped there from a CH 54 Tarhi flying crane helicopter. Later, it was used in Afghanistan as an anti personnel weapon and as an intimidation weapon because of its very large blast radius, variously reported as 300 to 900 feet 100 to 300 meters, combined with a visible flash and audible sound at long distances. It is one of the largest conventional weapons ever to be used outweighed only by a few earthquake bombs, thermobaric bombs, and demolition, bunker buster, bombs. Some of these include the Grand Slam and T-12 earthquake bombs of late World War II, and more currently, the Russian Air Force FOAB and U.S. Air Force GBU-43-B Massive Ordnance Air Blast Bomb, and the Massive Ordnance Penetrator. Specifications The Blue 82 uses ammonium nitrate and aluminum, CF Aminal. The warhead contains 12,600 pounds, 5,700 kilograms, of low cost GSX slurry, ammonium nitrate, aluminum powder, and polystyrene. The Daisy Cutter has sometimes been incorrectly reported as a fuel air explosive device, FE. FE devices consist of a flammable liquid and a dispersing mechanism, and take their oxidizers from the oxygen in the air. Phase generally run between 500 and 2,000 pounds, 225 and 900 kilograms. Making an FA the size of a daisy cutter would be difficult because the correct uniform mixture of the flammable agent with the ambient air would be difficult to maintain if the agent were so widely dispersed. A conventional explosive is much more reliable in that regard, particularly if there is significant wind or thermal gradient. The Blue 82 produces an overpressure of 1,000 pounds per square inch, psi, 7 MPA or 70 kg slash cm superscript 2, near ground zero, tapering off as distance increases. It is detonated just above ground by a 38 inch, 970 mm, fuse extender. This results in a maximum destruction at ground level without digging a crater. Guidance this system depends upon the accurate positioning of the aircraft by either a fixed ground radar or onboard navigation equipment. The ground radar controller, or aircrew navigator if applicable, is responsible for positioning the aircraft prior to final countdown and release. Primary aircrew considerations include accurate ballistic and wind computations provided by the navigator, and precision instrument flying with strict adherence to controller instructions. Due to its extremely powerful blast effects, the minimum safe altitude for releasing this weapon is 6,000 feet, 1,800 m, above ground level, AGL. Operations The Blue 82 was originally designed to clear helicopter landing zones and artillery emplacements in Vietnam. The first use of a Blue 82 occurred on March 22, 1970, when one was dropped north of Longshan, Laos during Campaign 139. During Operation Lam Sun 719 in 1971-25 Blue 82 bombs were dropped on NVA and Pathet Lao forces in Laos. They were dropped by USC-130 aircraft not only to clear landing zones, but also to strike against specific targets such as warehouses, vehicle parks, and enemy troop concentrations. South Vietnamese VNAF aircraft dropped Blue 82 bombs on NVA positions in desperation to support ARVN troops in the Battle of Xi'an LC in the last days of the Vietnam War. During the Mayaguez incident, 
a Lockheed MC-130 dropped a single Blue 82 to assist U.S. Marine forces attempting to extract themselves from Koh Tang Island. Eleven Blue 82 BS were palletized and dropped in five night missions during the 1991 Gulf War, all from Special Operations MC-130 combat talons. The initial drop tested the ability of the bomb to clear or breach minefields, however, no reliable assessments of mine clearing effectiveness are publicly available. Later, bombs were dropped as much for their psychological effect as for their anti-personnel effects. Due to the size of the conventional blast, a British SAS unit that witnessed the explosion mistakenly assumed the US had used a nuclear weapon and radioed back to their headquarters exclaiming, Sir, the blokes have just nuked Kuwait. The US Air Force dropped several Blue 82s during the campaign to destroy Taliban and Al-Qaeda bases in Afghanistan to attack and demoralize personnel and to destroy underground and cave complexes. American forces began using the bomb in November 2001 and again a month later during the Battle of Tora Bora. On July 15, 2008, airmen from the Duke Field 711th Special Operations Squadron, 919th Special Operations Wing dropped the last operational Blue 82 at the Utah Test and Training Range. Type Air-to-Surface Conventional Bomb Place of Origin United States Service History Wars Vietnam and in Afghanistan Production History No Built 225 Specifications Weight 15,000 pounds, 6,800 kilograms Length 141.6 in, 360 centimeters. Diameter 56 in, 140 centimeters. Filling GSX slurry. Filling weight 12,600 pounds, 5,700 kilograms. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.